Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you again for joining us for a virtual tasting today. Um, for some of you that haven't met me before, my name is Olivia Chan. I'm from Treasure Green Tea, second generation. Um, and sitting next to me is Bridget. Uh, she's the, actually the manager of Treasure Green Tea here. A um, little bit of background of our company. Uh, we started in Heart of Chinatown in 1981. My father started the business and I officially took over a business in 2003. So we're here today to taste one of a collection called Wu Yi Cliff Experience. If you have this box, you can open it now or you, if you are not already opened it. Um, so this collection came about because um, Wu Yi Mountain, which is in the northern part of Fujian, is one of my favorite places that I go to. Uh, I actually stay with the farmers when I go there. I uh, really like the way they um, uh, treat the tea, and the, uh, and the tea is a very high quality. And so what is in your collection, you have yellow goddess, you have qi lan, you also have a tea called bai rei xiang. So they are all different profile, from lighter, the yellow goddess is the lighter, so it's this guy here, you can hold this up. And then we take the second tea, it's called qi lan. And the Bai Rei Shang is actually the, uh, the most dominant one. So uh, you can, once you build up your palate, uh, then you can try the Bai Rei Shang. So we're going to do these two teas. Now the lightest one out of the collection of the three different teas is the Yellow Goddess. Yellow Goddess is actually a hybrid. A hybrid meaning it's a combination of um, Iron Buddha and um, Jing. Wang Jingwei. Mm. So Wang Jingwei is a Wulong tea, uh, but they're both from Anxi, Fujian. So they migrated to um, Wu Yi Mountain, and that's the result of their uh, hybrid. Mm. Um, they are a little bit lighter, uh, good, nice sweetness. They have a nice, um, what they call almost like a cinnamon note, uh, all close to. Um, Row gray, but of course it's not row gray. So let's give it a try. Let me just show you the tea leaf. Let get your water ready. Now this is just a hangout for 45 minutes. Just have some fun. Um, whatever you are using to uh, make your tea, I'm using a guy one, and then later on next one I'm going to try with the uh, terracotta. Okay, so I'm going to pour the tea leaves out. Okay, mm. let's have a look. Okay, they're smaller uh, leaves comparing to other cliff teas out mm. there. Now, cliff tea, obviously, they're going, are grown on the cliff of the mountain. So, uh, but the yellow goddess, why I start with that one, besides it's a little bit lighter, it is a low, uh, lower in um, mineral content comparing to other ones. So it's easy to, you know, get started with this one. Water temperature as recommended, 95 Celsius. I think last session someone threw a Fahrenheit at me. Actually, it's Celsius. Yeah. I'm certain someone for it. I went along and I go ah <laughs> wrong. 80 Fahrenheit. Yes. You're wrong. There. Anywhere <laughs> would be super cold. Anyway, so this was 95. <laughs> That's so funny. So this was 95. Celsius, and I'm certain. <laughs> okay, so get your roller uh, ready. Now, this uh, to welcome Brigitte in our tasting. I started a new tea set for her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I got a fair cup, a strainer. First thing we do, we're gonna rinse. For some of you who are new to the tasting, rinsing just to keep our uh, tools warm so we don't lose too much temperature when we actually brew our tea. Now we're going to go for it. We're going to go, the whole pack goes into this fair cup. Wow. Wow. Mm. Daniel says hello. Uh, I've been wanting to try mine, so this is going to be a perfect one to return to this evening following along with the tea later uh -huh. on. So he's been wanting to try it. 
Awesome. Hey, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Okay, I'm bringing my water to 95 Celsius. There you go. We're doing a rinse. You want to just do a quick rinse? So I'm doing a low pour, fixed point. Why, why do you do that again? Because the leaf is not tight, tightly rolled up. Mm -hmm. You see the color is already coming out. That's mm. why you don't want to be using a very hot um, uh, temperature. Now I'm gonna rinse your cup. Thank you. I'm gonna use my master cup. Did you have a third cup? Right. <laughs> Ooh. Now this uh, cliff tea, also some people know as uh, tea that gets you tea drunk. Mm. That's if you drink a, uh, quite a bit of it uh, on a more uh, condensed version, more a uh, strong version, it does give you that rush and you feel a little bit more lightheaded. But it goes away quickly, but you don't feel sick after, you actually feel very happy. Okay, so <laughs> rinse our cup. When yes, travel right. becomes possible again, would you ever think of leading tea farm tours? Ooh, Ooh. that could be fun. Yeah. Uh, Caught off guard, I think. <laughs> no, actually, no. Actually, I've done it. I've done it once. It was. Uh, you led. A, you led a tour. I did. Mm -hmm. uh, oh that yeah. Was in yeah the Twenty. Uh, Two thousand nine. No, 2010, 2010 it was. I have to say, honestly, it was one of the most tiring <laughs> trip I ever been to. <laughs> I felt like I had talked for one year <laughs> in a few days. <laughs> it was just so tiring. Uh, it was fun, but um, because of the language barrier, though I had to translate every single word. Uh, the funny thing is, let's just pour your cup so we don't lose too much temperature. Thank you. Now this one, very easy drinking. Uh, I know some of you might have heard me talking about slurping. We don't do it in this just yet. Uh, we'll show you, or we share that a little bit later. Let's just start that and I'll tell you a little bit about my trip. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Make sure three sips, uh, aroma, texture, and aftertaste. Um, yum ta. Yum ta. Yum ta. We also have Chris on the side. <laughs> yeah, Chris's oh, yeah. hand that you see. <laughs> Yeah, I see it's a mystery hand. Mmm, smells so nice. Wow. This is ah. so good. This is actually like the best. Mm. It's got a lot of flavor already. It's the first brew. I did literally just five seconds. I know my recommendation is 15 because um, I want these guys to really taste the lighter version. Uh, if this is you learning uh, about this tea too, then hey, you can do a shorter. Remember, we can always add time, right? Is you don't have to uh, squeeze it out in the first brew. Okay, oh, going back to um, what was the question? Oh, tra uh, traveling. Tell us a little bit about the tea trip when you um, took it. Okay. Yes. It was tiring. But what, what kind of things do you guys get well, to see? Well, uh, we went to different farms. We actually met some new farmers that trip because we were just sticking around. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and then um, that, uh, we didn't have a schedule. I was just like, hey, let's go up to this mountain. Let's just go knock, knock and see, hey, who are you? How are you? And who, uh, who are the people that you brought on this tour? Uh, I brought a couple of friends. I bought another tea client at the time. And did they go? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yes. How did they get? Oh, Dave was having a blast. Yeah, I know. Good yes. time. He just like, oh, I want to eat this. I want to eat that. He's about eating, eating tea leaf too. And food, of course. Vi uh, village food was just fantastic. Mm. Um, what, what, what are some village food? Uh, wild vegetables and food that are made actually up in the farm. Farmers made them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, they mm. they Super just fresh. yes, and they just whatever is available, they just make it right. Yeah. Right. Amazing. Okay, second fusion, the liquid is a little bit deeper, not a lot because I did really quick uh, brews. Uh, you want to do that actually because cliff tea, now authentic premium cliff tea really should give you eight, nine infusions easily. You should not lose flavor in eight, nine infusions because there's a lot more in-depth flavor as the leaf unfolds, okay? So let's, uh, second infusion now. 
we are prepping ourselves for next year where we need to slurp a little bit harder. So this one, let's just try light slurp. But light slurp, just like exactly what your mom tell you not to do. You want to do it <laughs> now. Just light slurp. That's what I do. And we're not doing a uh, double slurp. We're just doing a light slurp. We just want an area. So get in a, a habit of when you come across tea that has uh, more mineral content, you want to do that. Like slip. Okay. Mm. Yum cha. Yum cha. Yum cha. Yum cha. Yum cha. Yum cha. Wow, this one's this one's delicious. It's actually now a lot more. What do you taste? Mm. Very forward is actually I feel the sweet note just boom it's right there yeah, in the tip yeah. of my tongue. Yeah, and it's a, it's a, it's a lot on the top palate. I find this one. It's very like the whole mouth is like. Yeah. It's, just, it's very it, full. It, like it, comes it covers in. the whole tongue? Yeah. Tongue? Mm. If you find it a lot more covering to your top of your mouth or your tongue, if you are slurping a, a little bit more force, right? Then that you bring it in a little bit further. Yeah. Yeah. So you can actually uh, try that too. I, for me, I was doing a very light one. So that's why I, I feel in the tip of your uh, my tongue. But mm. hey, different slurp method and intensity will give you a completely different experience. But it's full, it's mm. smooth, it also has a sweet aftertaste. It's, um, like I said, a great um, tea to start off with cliff varieties of oolong. So is okay. this also dried over charcoal? Because there's some charcoal yes. to it. Yes, um, all of them are actually dry. Uh, uh, hand dry over charcoal for days. It's all, a cause. All cooked teas are. No, uh, depends on the f on the farm mm -hmm. and how they treat the tea because that's a slow dehydration. Mm. Uh, it takes more labor intensive, and uh, for the um, some big farms like farm commercial farms, I should say, they would use big drum to dry it. It's 18 hours they can get it out the door, but mm -hmm. this one takes days. So the difference is that one. It's slow dehydration, it doesn't lock the moisture in, so you get a more sweet aftertaste. Some will lock the moisture. A lot of time when you use high temperature to brew, it becomes more um, bitter note, um, burn, burn leaves, because it's, sometimes it's not as e um, evenly dried. Mm. Make sense? Mary, can I get a tissue, please? Um, so it's safe to say, I think, Daniel, if you'd like a tea trip, you need to find her a translator, probably a caddy, mm -hmm. right? Like a golf, go. <laughs> everybody gets a caddy. No, many of the farms that we went actually at the time was, uh, you have to, the car only goes up to halfway of the mountain and then we have to hike up. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, those were the, those were the great trips. It really tests your stamina too. <laughs> Also, being a tour guide is incredible work. Oh, yes. Uh, and like I said, I didn't plan it either. Like, I didn't plan, thank you very much. I didn't plan where I go and where I don't, uh, and this farm and that farm, I didn't plan ahead of time. So I wanted to be a little bit more fun and spontaneous. spontaneous. Yeah, spontaneous is always more fun, right? People are like, we don't have a schedule, so we go wherever we land, we hungry, just find food there, right? right. That was the whole idea. Sounds great. All trips is should be uh, surrounded around food mm -hmm. and drinks. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. So uh, by half halfway of the trip, I found I hire a translator. Oh, you did. I did because I was just so tired. My mouth couldn't even open anymore. And the funny thing is, it was tw uh, 2010, so it was uh, 11 years ago. And the translator, a uh, very sweet girl, uh, she was sitting in the front of the car we have we hire a driver that uh, in the van and she turns around every few seconds how do you say that in english and i go what <laughs> oh. <laughs> and i go okay never mind <laughs> yeah. daniel says he was once a tour guide as well so he completely understands mm. oh. <laughs> but what kind of tours did you uh were you doing at the time daniel tell us yeah share Yum cha. This is the third Yum infusion. Cha. Again, the liquid will be a little bit stronger. I'm using a white background uh, cup. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, three sips. Now you can do try different intensity of slurping if you like, and see where how far this sweetness goes. Wow. Mm. Mm. Now the tea flavor release a lot more. The uh, texture is um, fuller. Yeah, you mm -hmm. agree? Definitely. Just super smooth. It just like slides right down your throat. The best. Mm. Oh yum. Oh yum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So Daniel, Daniel used to uh, lead tours for wealthy Americans through Vancouver and the Rockies. Oh. oh. So it's not a bad gig. So actually, <laughs> translator and caddy don't seem too uh, distant. Maybe, that, maybe, maybe we can find the uh, the clients for that. <laughs> Fun, but very hard work. Tea is better. <laughs> Everybody gets a little. That's fun. As you're climbing up the hill. Oh. Obviously, I, I didn't mean, have the tour guy uh, elements in me. <laughs> yeah. Not built to be one. <laughs> no. Maybe it can be a partnership, and Daniel can do the. Yeah. <laughs> the guiding. You, you can be the translator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, tea trips, if you're really going up to those uh, remote farms, you got to do it when you delicious. are young. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> we are on to our fourth infusion, and after this one, we'll move on to the next tea. But um, let's give it a try first. So are you allowed to go to the reserve areas on the Uyi Mountain? Uh, uh, you invited the person from there, they come down to pick you up. That's what, exactly how I met this farmer who made this tea. Yeah. He came down um, to meet me uh, and brought me to his home. And that's how you do it. But typically, is uh, they have guards and uh, some areas are gated as well. So you cannot go up just because you want to. So, so they're, they're award winning, right? I've seen, I've seen they have a lot of trophies for the tea. Oh, yes. Actually, I suggested he go for the uh, competition. Oh. Yes. So he said, really? I said, yes, you can do it. And so he did um, three three years in a row. He won number one place. No way! Yes. Yeah. Wow. Thanks to your and what, what, what kind of competition is this? Is uh, well, Wuyi Mountain, um, very famous for very their famous. wulong, right? Yes. So they have competitions for who makes the best wulong uh, cliff tea from there. All high elevation reserve area. They can go into a competition. And they have a theme every year, different theme. Say they say, oh, Da Hong Pao, the red tunic, for example. And they say we are doing a high fire um, competition this this year. So it does. Then they do the high fire. Mm. And uh, I was fortunate enough, and then I taste uh, all those three years best teas that he got awarded for. And and they got, they, sell, they sell really high price during Chinese New Year because mm. they all sold out by a Chinese. What does red tunic taste like? I've never had it. Um, well, traditional red tuning is actually, uh, well, that's the, the mother of uh, cliff tea, right? There are only uh, four original bushes. Right. Yum time, yum time. But it can, you said it can go from six figures? Yes, they still produce tea, about four ounces of tea every year. And uh, of course, we never get to taste those tea. They are out for the, uh, definitely for the government officials. And occasionally, some of them come out uh, for auctions and six digit easily for one brewing. Wow. One brewing. Yes, but well, wow. two uh, two ounces, right? <laughs> wow. So are you just like, like really tasting Save every little that. bit? Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, but how does it differ from this? Because they're both cliff teas. Oh, they have this own character and depends the maker, how they make it is has a very in-depth flower, smoothness and high mineral as well as a um, lot of lingering taste. You mean everything that's a pre that present that present for premium tea is exists in that downpour. Of course, uh, the workmanship of the of the uh, person who makes a tea is, I mean, uh, who actually fries and dries the tea also makes a very, very uh, big difference. The person who brew it, wow. If I ever get a brew it, I think I would, you'll see a sweat coming down from here like that. Don't mess it up, don't yeah. mess it up. 
Okay, so uh, I know we talk about this tea can go on and on for a, at least nine infusions. So what do you do with tea if you just halfway you say, I'm done, I, I, I don't want to have any more. Um, you can do a cold infusion. So what we do here, some, uh, I like to use the tea leaf. I put this in the mason jar uh, and then uh, filter water, put in the fridge, minimum overnight, minimum. You can do up for about three, four days, uh, it's fine. It gets very flavorful, no bitterness, but all the um, flavor, sweetness, and notes comes out. So it's not a bad try, so give that a try if uh, you're not gonna continue with this tea. Okay, how are we doing there? You good? Great. Good, yes. You're doing okay. amazing. Qilan is the next one we're doing. Okay. Qilan in Cantonese, Qilan in Mandarin. Okay. Hui rock tea. Yes, that's one of the things I want to actually say. Uh, on the market, you sometimes hear people say rock tea, <clears throat> sometimes yan cha, and I call it cliff tea. Um, they are the same actually. They all mean the same. Right. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the hype. Okay. So you know what? Okay, next one. So these little packages also, like, are they specific to uh, like all, all tea lines going to be in this package or is it, how does uh, it no um because some of the tea uh we save it for aging purposes mm. so some of the, we change the packaging every year um and so does the farmers do as well uh no he, they don't actually this farmer when i met him uh he sent the tea to uh, he he gave me the tea. I said, oh, I, I want some of this tea. He gave that literally in a paper bag. Go, like that. <laughs> he didn't know any packaging, so I got him to do some packagings like this right, for me. Right, right. Yeah. Because sometimes, uh, sometimes at the, sh at the shop, some people come in with the packaging that they found. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, do you have this? And sometimes they have no, you know. Yes. Every packaging is going to be a little bit different. Yes, uh, they're different uh, year, but um, we're thinking of centralizing all the packaging, and I don't know. Right. We'll see what happens in the next season. <laughs> okay, Kaylan. Kaylan. Kaylan in Mandarin. Okay, they're a little bit larger than the yellow goddess leaves. This one more, the aroma is more intense. You will find that, uh, and the flavor is much fuller too. I call it a little bit like roasted yam flavor. Mm -hmm. um, you might come up with a different word, that's fine. <coughs> uh, whatever that reminds you. It's uh, a combination of floral, a little bit of um, osmanthus uh, note to it too, as well. Okay, we want to do a warm up. Uh, of our tool. I'm using terracotta. I just want to give uh, my guests a little bit of different taste uh, of a different tool, what it provides. So warm this up. Well, yesterday you brewed, uh, what, what did you make? In, oh, the Founders Rose in the terracotta. It was mm. amazing. So good. There's a smoothness to it. Huh? When you oh, brew it, it was just so different. Yeah. It's cool because we recommend uh, porcelain gaiwan a lot, especially for beginners, but it seems uh, terracotta has its charm. It does. So if you find a tea that you like and you think, hey, I'm going to be drinking this quite a bit, it's not a bad idea to invest in a terracotta. Mm. Okay. Oh, tell me what you smell. Wow. I do see the yams. I, I do see the yams. Yeah. Yes. It smells so good. It's almost like savory in on? a way. Yes. Oopsies. Okay. Uh, That's so interesting. Let's do a quick rinse. I really like Chilan. Chilan is actually one of the best sellers here. Uh, only because I love it too. <laughs> okay. Rinse water in, water out. So these are all packaged in like one brew, right? 
Correct. Wow. Now, Cliff T, I actually quite sensitive to like. That's why I didn't want it in the paper bag. <laughs> I want it to be individually packaged. So the less you open it and expose to light, the better it keeps, right? What What can happen if it is exposed? Uh, so exposed to light, the oil will uh, come come out from the leaves. So, um. so it becomes dull, and the aroma will go away. Okay. First infusion. I did the, my rinse already. I'm, my water is sitting at 95 Celsius. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Again, I'm doing a short infusion. Oh, three seconds. Uh, well, anywhere three to 10, because again, I want you guys to learn about the tea a little bit mm -hmm. more. So I'm doing a short infusion. Okay, my, this is my habit. I like the tea either using a, a gaiwan or terracotta, I like to open up my teapot in between brews, so that kind of stops the infusion. Mm. Yeah. Okay, you can rinse your cup, please. Now this one, we are gonna be trying it with, uh, let's just try it with um, slurping. Okay. A little harder. You do the first, uh, just harder slurp, mm. and the second brew, let's do a double slurp. Okay. Okay. So harder than what we just did. Correct. Okay. See, first brew. Uh, this one has become a little bit more orange. Well, it's very hot, so. Um, Be careful. <laughs> if you want to wait, well, I can really smell it. Now slurping a harder, actually why do we slurp? Um, slurp is the mineral so it can saturate on your tongue. It actually should give you a little bit of tingling sensation. And, and then what comes back a lot of time would be sweetness. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> Okay, so that Yum Yum Cha. Yum Cha. <laughs> <laughs> wow, sweet, sweeter than yellow. Got us. Whoa, totally different. Not nearly as much of that charcoal like body. Wow, I like uh, Chang Pei. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of that citrusy. Mm. She can be my translator. Yeah. Too. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Wow, Tim. Tian. Maya says hi. Hi, hi Maya. Maya. Ja Jamini. Jamini. Hi, hi Maya. Jamini. She just joined us. Yeah. We're now tasting the Qilan Wulong tea. The packet looks like this in mm. our uh, Wu Yi mm. Cliff Experience Collection. And Yum. welcome for joining us. Wow. What kind of tea are they drinking? Today we're having a Wu Yi Cliff tea, Maya. How are you doing? Feel free to uh, also join our YouTube. Our YouTube is uh, got the HD version. Ah, uh, so. so there's two cameras. Bam and bam. Oh, oh, hi, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Okay, we're just doing a second infusion of Chilan Cliff Wulong Tea from Wu Yi Mountain. Second infusion. So, Chris, can I, your first cup? Yeah. We're doing a, a little harder slurp. Let's see. A little harder slurp from the last tea that we taste was a yellow yes. goddess. Yeah, that's how you gotta slurp it through your teeth, right? Okay, yes. Can I have one more fair cup, please? This is amazing. Very good, very good, everybody. Chilan. Go Chilan. Let's go Chilan. Good, good, good. Ready? Yeah, thank you. Can I get some wow. more water as well? So I want to empty out the first one so you can taste exactly just what the second one offers. Okay. Okay. Second infusion. A 
see if you can do a comparison here. Ooh. Okay, here we go. This is oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah, first and second infusion. Which this, this one's a first, right. second. <laughs> mm. Oh, so much dark, darker in the second one. Yes. Uh, Even though you only did like a five second steep. Uh, actually, I did longer. I did oh. about ten because I have to wait for the dark. Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, uh, as this tea unfolds. The flavor gets stronger, the mineral releases. Now, this is the time we want to do a uh, double slurp. Double slurp, um, I think one of our video we talk about, let's just do a quick recap. So double slurp, I, uh, it's just you want to slurp in the tea and then let it fall back out a little bit and then you want to slurp back in through your tea. So that means your teeth are closed. That's the only way you can slurp it back in when you're closed. Otherwise, it will end up on your tray. Okay. <laughs> you want to demonstrate that? Okay. okay. So, this is the double slurp. Correct. So we're going to go. Perfect. Good. <laughs> so when you get more comfortable in doing the double slurp, you can do a little bit more intense, like more harder. Uh, so, like this. <laughs> the first time I actually saw the, uh, years, well, decades ago, uh, when I went to actually Ansi, um, his friend of friend of my, <laughs> Very wow. friend of my parents and uh, what? Who said? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want to try? Double slap. Okay. Sir Turtle Knight says, I'll be, I'll come visit in a couple hours. Oh, oh nice. That's Sir Turtle Knight, we don't know your actual name. That's What's Pascal, your name? I believe. Pascal. Do we have your order ready for you? It's waiting. <laughs> no, Pascal. I'm like, Turtle the Knight. Yeah. Okay, double slab. Let's do this. Come on, guys. Mm. Try it. Oh, yours is very fast. Yes, it's Pascal. Mmm. A lot of flavor, the sweet aftertaste. Mmm, lots of sweetness. It's actually really cool. Now, uh, Cliff Tea do carry a little bit of tannin still. Um, so if you taste a little bit of um, um, hint of that uh, astringent note, it's actually it's a good thing because it goes away. And then what happens yeah. is you just become more uh, <laughs> hydrated. I see a seasoning brush oh. on the website. Oh. If you have time to address it, how would you use that? Jigga. Yes. It's oh. a makeup brush. <laughs> no, don't use your makeup brush. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want anything else in it except your tea. This one is when we season our teapot. I use it for various different things. If you uh, were looking, I actually, there's anything that's like, I got some little bits and pieces on my tea plate, and I just use that to clean it up. Um, I don't want to use my tea towel. I don't want to use my hand, definitely. And then this is majorly, what this is for is mm. when you pour tea on it, at end of the session, I had some tea from the first infusion. So tea okay. actually seasons your teapot, right? So but you want that oil to sit more evenly, so it's beautiful, uh, so it's not sporty. So you want, this is when you use a brush to make sure that you get all the grooves, you get the handles, you get the bottom, and so on. Mm. That's what you use it for. And then you want to dry this up and then and use it again when you need it. So it's for like taking care of your terracotta mostly. Correct, mm. yes. Calvin's here. Calvin. Hi, Calvin. 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 Calvin, Michael, my buddy, my buddy Calvin, <laughs> Calvin Chan. Oh, uh, high school. L with an L, Calvin. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are there Calvins without L's? Uh, I tell you, I just get oh, very mix of Kevin and Calvin, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Kevin. Yes. Uh, Calvin's actually been a bouncer for Treasure Green. Yeah. Yes, well, thank funny. you. Bum bum. <laughs> 
welcome welcome we're doing the third infusion now if you find the tea releasing a lot of tannin for you you put your temperature maybe perhaps a little bit too high you can decrease a little bit if you want so mine has no tannin so tannins also it's part of the uh, leaves and what does that taste like how does someone find drying it? Mm. Mm -hmm. a little bit drying oh yeah mine has no tannin okay Pure sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, also guys, if you're tasting it, if you uh, if you are not drinking it when it's very hot, you also are tasting a little different note because uh, it will become smoother too, uh, as well, tea. Now, is terracotta best for Wu Yu Oolong? Uh, not necessarily. It's all depending on how it's been dried. A more roasted terracotta do enhance and even out the balance of the roasting mm. but if uh, the tea is a lightly uh, also lightly fermented uh, cliff tea there's also lightly roasted cliff tea those actually guy one can work really well as well okay this is our third infusion <laughs> four the two dots went up <laughs> <laughs> okay this is the fourth infusion Okay, to see the leaves is not... Can, can oh, you yeah. see? It's okay. a little dark, but you can see that yeah. the leaves have opened up. Hello, more. Vesa, welcome. And guys, make sure you're joining our YouTube for the HD version as well. Alright? Or if you're enjoying my camera work here. Right. Yes, yeah, so it's opening up. They're not fully open. Um, so you, uh, like I said, uh, premium wee cliff tea should give you easily nine infusions. Cheers. Vesa says hello. Hello. Hi. Happy Saturday. <laughs> hello Trini as well. Everybody welcome. Welcome Trini. Uh, cheers. Yum cha. Yum cha. <laughs> If you guys are uh, whatever you have in your hand, let's do a toast. So happy Saturday! Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Hey, I'm Thank you. I'm 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 Cheers, everyone. For us who's drinking cliff tea, please slurp. <laughs> wow, I really like that uh, slurping. There's also a correct way of slurping when you do it correctly. Mm it become more explosive, more sweetness comes out. If you just do it, uh, what I call a whatever way, like, okay, I'm just slurping. It doesn't come out, doesn't give you that experience. That's why when I was in uh, Fujian, the person who taught me, the team master that taught me how to slurp, you can see his body go like that. Oh. And I'm like, wow, that's intense. <laughs> like, and then a whole bunch of them sitting on a table, both of them. Like this, <laughs> literally, like they moved their body. It was just so intense. Yeah. Uh, Pascal saying, I need to choose a tea to drink with you. Mm. Maybe the charcoal tea. Uh, ah. I don't know how to say it in English. Tai Guan Yin. Tai Guan Yin. Charcoal. Uh, is that a good choice? Taekwani is very easy drinking. Um, nice seven years uh, age now. Uh, roast good for a day like this. Not too cold, not too warm. Lovely. Yeah, it's also an all-time favorite here. Okay, one more before we. Um, oh, one more. I turn the fire off. Everybody making cliff tea or are you guys having something else at home? I think some people are... Oh, just got in. Yeah. Out, yeah. Okay. Get the specials closer angle. Nice angle Beautiful day today, huh? not raining so it's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you guys like pairing sometimes I like cliff tea with dark chocolate is one of the best pairing mm. 
um, really enhance and enrich the flavor, both the chocolate and the tea. Yeah, we should do a little uh, pairing tasting kit. Mm. Right, put together a little mm. kit, send it to everybody, and then we can do the tasting together. Yeah. Fun. Pairing is so fun, especially for Chinese New Year's, maybe with uh, some carrot cake. Yes, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm actually going to be trying to make the tuna cake myself this year and I want to pair up with uh, a Wulong tea. Mm. Yeah, we got tuna. Oh, tu it's tuna. Get turnip. 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 Did I say tuna? Yeah. I meant turnip. <laughs> <laughs> but she meant she's going to tune up her turnip cake. So we got to tune it up to make sure it's really good. Blow back. <laughs> Blow back. <laughs> See, I need a translator here at all uh, times. So Robert's actually drinking the Tong Tongmu Lapsang. Oh, Tongmu Tongmu Lap. Uh, it's a nice black tea. Very it should be very delicate. Enjoy. Uh, we on to fifth, fourth. So I think four. But it doesn't matter. Last try. <laughs> Welcome, Richard. <laughs> Okay, all right, so again, now the mineral should decrease uh, quite a bit. You can do now back to a light slurp. The tea flavor comes a lot more. Uh, if it's a fifth infusion, I actually think it's a fifth, but some birds say fourth. Honestly, I have, I'm not counting at all. <laughs> slurp too hard. Slurp too hard. Oh, okay, now the tannin decreased quite a bit. Mm. That brown finish is yeah, coming yeah. back. Yeah, that's right. But it's all continued to be sweet. Wow, this is so good. Wow, just wow. Okay, guys, just to give you a little uh, pointers for tea that you have this particular um, variety, what I like to do if I'm not finishing the night infusion, I like to do a cold brew. Cold brew, simply just take the tea leaves, put in a mason jar or whatever glass jar you have and, and add with this packet, you can do 500 ml of water. That's like Cap two it. cups. Like yeah. Two cups. Put in the fridge, minimum overnight, minimum. You can do up to three, four days, but before it starts to form up and bubble, you don't want to see mushroom in it. So. Mm. So this is how we do a cold infusion. Enjoy it. The flavor is actually quite full. Got a sweetness and smooth. Try it out. Cold brew is also very awesome for this tea type. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining us. If you want to see more contents and get the latest news, sometimes the farmers send me photos of the um, what they you know the sceneries or their farms and new products. Whatever the case is, we share it in a Jam Club um, uh, Facebook on the Jam Club on Facebook. And so um, join us there. And also if you have any questions or comments, send us uh, questions and we'll uh, try to answer them as much as we can. Uh, if we need to find a little bit more information for you, we'll do that as well. Okay, take care, enjoy your Sunday. Oh no, Saturday <laughs> and your Sunday. <laughs> Tomorrow, enjoy it too. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks for, for thanks for joining us. I'm everybody. tea drunk, obviously, right? <laughs> Cheers. And, uh, stay tuned for more tastings. And I'll, we'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye.